How's it going, Charles Botenston? Today we are going to be hosting number two of the How To series that we're going to be launching and uh, definitely growing. All right, so it's a how to series, how to blah, 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 whatever you want to do. Today is how to stay motivated. All right, so motivation was one of the biggest things that I saw as an issue when I was younger. Motivated to the biggest thing was grades. I, I was not good at school. I was. I hated school, actually. I just wasn't, you know, I liked hanging out. I liked the, the guys that I was with because I went to an all-boys Catholic high school. I liked chasing girls. I liked, you know, pranking and, like, doing stupid things and getting into trouble and blah, blah, blah. But when it came down to school, I had no, no motivation. Zero. Like, I almost failed, of, failed out of high school. I almost failed out of college. It took me longer to graduate from college. And because of that, I had no motivation really in life. You know, because I thought because I wasn't good at school that I wouldn't be good at life. And I've noticed that you need to have a reason. And, and one of the biggest things is, sorry, something just came up on the screen. One of the biggest uh, videos that really changed this around was a couple of years ago. Uh, this guy was talking about his father. His father was in his late 80s. He was going through all these um, medical issues. And the guy was saying that the reason he was getting his father to stay alive and uh, to really enjoy life again was he needed his father to look forward to something. So this guy planned something every single month with him and his father. So his father had something to look forward to. So that's really the basis of motivation is that you see a better life. You see something better in the future. All right. So that's, that's just the general overview of motivation is that motivation, you see something better. If you see it being worse, you're not going to be motivated. You're not going to continuously do that. That's with leadership in general. Leadership is all about seeing a better picture in the future. And I can attest to that because I own a real estate firm here in New York. So I understand the power of leadership. I understand the, uh, the need for motivation within leadership. So how do you stay motivated as an individual and why are you usually not motivated as an individual? So number one is, we'll start with the why you're not, is because you haven't found something that motivates you. I know that's basic, but it's true. When I was in high school, I was a caddy uh, at the local golf course. I started at age 12. I hustled during the summers. It was hot as hell. It was like 90s, 100s. So I'm running around outside. My motivation was the amount of money I made. And in high school, I didn't have a car. I didn't come from a well-to-do family. So I needed that money. And that was, my, that was my motivation. You know, your motivation could be anything. Your motivation to go and get fit is because your family's full of not fit people or unhealthy people. Or the reason you want to get good grades is so you can get a scholarship to go to college. The reason you want to uh, make money is so you can give back to charity or give it to your parents or buy something, or get a home, or something, whatever. Pay down debt, pay down college debt. You need, you need something that why, that drives you. So uh, number one is I wouldn't put it on anything external. This is really deep right now, just follow me. External is like your why, it would be good if it was a person, it would be better if it was for yourself. So in other words, a person is like, I'm doing something for my parents. I'm doing this to uh, help out society, like Mother Teresa, like she's doing something for other people. You know, I'm doing this so I can give my parents the retirement that they want. You know, a lot of athletes say that. They say that the reason that they're getting into professional sports is to give back to the person that raised them. They want to buy that, their mother a house or they want to give their aunt something or someone that, that actually raised them when they were younger. They just feel so grateful. So I would never put it on anything like a watch or a house or money because you will always chase more. You'll chase a bigger house. You'll chase more money. You'll chase a nicer watch, a bigger boat. You know, I, and that's the thing is that it's never going to end and you'll never be grateful or happy. I can, I can truly attest to that is because I used to put it on money because I didn't grow up well to do. So I was like, I want uh, private airplane, I want, you know, private driver, I want first class, da, 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 all these things. And then as I got like bigger, bigger apartments, as I got more money, I just spent more money. And I'm like more, 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 but it wasn't giving me the happiness. So don't do anything on the external that you can see you want as happiness. You can do it for a person, but the best way to actually get your motivation is the person you become. The person that you become. How do I explain this? 
Uh, this is really important. This is really deep. Um, just stay with me. So the person you become. So I was told, as I mentioned, that I was through grades that I wasn't going to be successful and everything else. And then I noticed that if out of college that I started reading books that I chose, that I liked, and I started finishing these books and noticing the difference in the way I carried myself, my smarts and everything else. So I'm like, I was like, wow, I'm like, I'm paying $14 for a book. And I went 22 years of my life in education. I'm learning way more from these books. So what I noticed is that I became better. And that's what motivated me is that the motivation to be better was way more motivating than the money or the, um, you know, I was dressing like crap or I was eating like crap or I wasn't working out. So I was like, yeah, I'm dressing better and people are noticing me and I'm, I'm you know, my girlfriends are getting prettier and cooler and more outgoing. My social circle is growing. But really the, the satisfaction came because I was getting better. And that's really where the motivation should come from is that you're getting better. All right. So number one is it has to come from the inside, the motivation, the motivation to be better, the motivation to do better. In other words, you're moving up the ranks of a corporate job, which I don't recommend. But if you're owning a company, is that expanding the company? All right. As Tony Robbins says, is that progress or happiness equals progress. If you're not progressing, that means you're slowly dying, which means that you're not going to be happy, which means you're not going to be motivated. So number one is you have to have a why. You have to have a why. How do you find your why? Your why is from trying a shit ton of things and seeing what works, okay? What jobs have I held? I was a waiter. I was a landscaper. I did door-to-door -door sales. I did cold calls. I did engineering, marketing. I was a caddy. Uh, I sold knives. Uh, I had a eBay business. I had a small online business. Oh my God. I had literally, I just counted out 10 jobs and I probably have had other ones in between. I was a landscaper. I mowed lawns. I literally did everything. And I noticed what I didn't like, but more importantly is that I noticed the things that I did like. Uh, I was in a uh, sort of, you know, corporate marketing job right out of school, right out of college. And that's the biggest thing is that people are like, how do I know what I want? You have to try things. You're not going to know what is motivating to you unless you actually try things. You have to fail. There's this whole notion that people make, like when I see people making fun of someone because they failed or they screwed up or they messed up, that, that is debilitating to other people because they're like, if I fail, I'm going to be made fun of. No, 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 you need to fail. You need to try things. You need to become a waiter. You need to wash dishes. You need to become a bartender. You need to do jobs that you are like, you know what? Let's see if this works. Let's see if this doesn't work. Out of college, I'm like, I want to be a bartender because I'm going to meet all these chicks. It's a cash job. Uh, it's at a bar. I'm social. I'm going to be good at it. And I did it and I'm like, nah, not for me. So then I quit after three months. I'm like, okay, cool. At least I started it or at least I did it and I know I don't want it. So number one is you need a why. How do you find your why? You have to try a multitude of different jobs. Number two is you have to have something that motivates you internal, which is becoming someone better. So I always became a little bit better. You have to become a little bit better. More importantly, number three is you have to see the future brighter. Okay, that's how you have, that's how you become motivated day to day. And I'm going to keep on going. This is going to be a ridiculous video. Like this is going to blow your mind. So you have to see yourself, regardless of what you're going through right now, you have to see the future better. You have to see that you're going to be making more money or your body's going to be better. You're going to be healthier. You're going to be faster. You're going to be fitter. You're going to be able to lift more weights. You're going to be smarter. Whatever it is, your relationship's going to get better. You're always going to, you have to be satisfied, not satisfied. You always have to be bullish about the future. You always have to be like, okay, in the future, it's going to look better than it is right now. You always need something to look forward to. As, as I said about the story before, the reason that that guy who is in, who is in his eighties kept on looking f that he kept on living was because his son was planning things each month. And he said, dad, and you'd call him every day, dad, this is where we're going to go next month. And it had his father looking forward to something instead of him saying, I have nothing to look forward to. And then he dies, you know, but his, his son made him look forward to something, you know, for you, you have to look forward to something. There has to be a brighter future. So the brighter future is, you know what? And visualize this. I'm going to be more fit. I ride bikes. I race bikes. So the biggest thing was, oh my God, I can't believe I did a hundred miles. Now I'm like, you know what? Let's do those a hundred miles faster. 
So it's like, okay, you give yourself a challenge, all right? Number four is not only do you see yourself doing better in the future, you have to have a process. And I talked about this in a, the previous video. And the biggest thing that like I cannot even just, oh, is that you need to do the same thing every single day. I talked about it three things. The three things you need to do to be successful is you need to decide, you need to be you need to have a process and you need to stay consistent. Decide you want to be healthy. Go to the gym every single day. I want a boyfriend. I'm going to go out every day and I'm going to say hi to men. Whatever. I don't know what it is. I, I'm going to get straight A's. I'm going to study every single day and or, you know, whatever the process is to get smarter. <laughs> but you need a process that you do every single day. Decide. You need to have a process, studying, going to the gym, eating right, approaching that pretty girl or whatever, and then do that all the time. Anytime that you have a test coming up, this is what I need to do, and you schedule it in. Motivation does not come in, it, it, motivation, this is the most important thing you're gonna hear, is that motivation is not, you're not gonna get this feeling of motivation. When you start taking action is when you, get, when you start getting motivated. Only until you take action will you be motivated. I just came out of the video, Mini Habits. It's an amazing book. I, just go into my YouTube channel, check it out. Type in Mini Habits. You have to start small. That's how you get your habits. Have to start small. Has to be consistent every single day. All right? So that's how, you, how to stay and get motivated. All right? You need to decide. You need to get a process. Stay consistent. You need a why. You need to see a bright future. And you need to see it, but you also have to ensure that you do what you need to do consistently because if you feel like being motivated, you're never going to be motivated. You have to take action, then you'll be motivated. All right? So I hope this helps. It was a lot going on in this video, and I could break down each individual one of those points into a deeper, deeper video. So this is the second video on how to, whatever you want. Uh, let me know. I'll come out with another video. Leave it in the comments below. All my social links are below as well. Snapchat, I'm absolutely crushing. Instagram, I'm crushing. I got a podcast. I got iCharles.com. Everything's free, blah, blah, blah. This is not how I make money. This is just a side passion. So hope all is well with you guys. Leave in the comments what you want my video next to be about on how to. Have an awesome day. Talk to you soon.